down here at the Wisconsin State FTC Championship, checking in at team number 12966, Steam Cells, not stem cells, right? Steam Cells, down here uh, talking uh, about this robot here. They got a really cool arm I want to show off here as well, too, as well as their uh, Nona Drive that they're doing as well, uh, and a couple cool sensors here on behind the bot. Uh, so we'll start out with here. Um, I want to talk about the uh, arm and show that off. Who's going to be talking about that? So uh, on our arm, we've got two motors, uh, one for extending it, and then we've got one uh, back here, and we use that for changing the angle of it. So I can extend it like that, so I can, and then I can raise it up and down. And uh, that's unique because most other teams, uh, we haven't seen any really other teams that do a telescoping arm that goes up and down like this. So, so what was your inspiration behind doing this as well versus maybe what other teams are doing? Well, we've done linear slides in the past, so we were good at doing it, so why not do it again? Fair enough. So looking at uh, also on this robot, uh, as I mentioned, we have the uh, drivetrain below, some sensors. What do you want to run through on this? So the drivetrain is a Omni drivetrain, so the wheels are at 45 degrees. And then also on the front here, we have dozers, which uh, these hold the blocks like, like this between them. And that allows us to deliver faster. We In our testing, we can do seven blocks in the two-minute uh, teleop period. So I think that's pretty So what made you choose of doing that versus, like, mechanic wheels or a different way of doing holonomic motion? Well, we've, we've seen videos on YouTube uh, one, during our research period, and we saw that it's uh, more it's pretty agile with this configuration. And we never, But we've never done it before, but we decided we were going to try it, and it seemed to work well for what we were doing. Uh, so, yeah. So last thing I kind of want to ask you is just this beefy plate right on the spot here. So uh, why, why does the flat sheet plate, um, did you have to worry about weight or anything like that? Or was it just like, hey, let's just strap this baby on and it's, it's good to go? Doing a flat sheet, it's simplest. You can drill hole, as many holes in it as you want until it breaks apart into a million pieces. Uh, so, and weight wasn't really an issue. I don't even think we're over 30 pounds. And the limit's 42. So we just put a sheet on there. And once again, Steam Cells, good luck during this competition. Thanks for taking time to tell us about your robot as well, too. Some neat things going on. Love the arm as well, too. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.